It's me, Blue Space Bar, and welcome to the new PD Talk number six. And this week we talk about all the watching news that happened in the series, movie about the series, how you're playing on, like we do with the stuff else we hang into, and see if I know that's a trend. And that's the back to work in the series. We we'll also go over the upcoming series and how we push a Dino series. Then we'll look at it in our last Zero Potter is doing. Then we'll talk about the Offensive Rampage, the leaders of Offensive Pushing Categories. And then let's play on the body side, then speak up on the Pushing side. And we replay really from last week and see how you did. So let's jump into the recap. There were no watch moves this week, but the awesome of one I'll let him make. But that will be until the end of the video. But his first series was pretty much covered in the world. So we have to take 27 hours a week dollar. Game one we won 6 3, 27 hours a week. Five strike hours. Zero grand house, zero grand force house, one double play, five fire house, four pop house, two iron house, one cost ceiling, one pick off. Game two, we lost three two, the green seven hours on an offense for eight strike house, four grand house, zero first house, zero double play, four fire house, two pop house. And one we went out a zero cost single. And he got thrown off 22nd into a double because the coach said basement or through the first basement play and win it by the top of the bottom just second but failed. In three, we won three down. 27 hours on offense for eight strike hours, seven banner, two going to four cells, zero double plays, flat five hours, five line hours, four cells, buttons. So it's got two in the pick off. So the parties did take charge of three. We were 21 14 people playing us. But I liked about offense, we struck out less than 10 times in this game. Our time person was good this in the series. Let's, have, let's have, see how we do against the Dodgers. So we were home for the Dodgers. Hi so there. I feel good. Thanks for asking. We still have 24 hours on offense. Game one, we won 2-1, but we had 25 hours on offense, we had, we had a walk-off. So, 13 strike outs, 5 grand outs, 0 grand strike outs, 2 double plays, 1 flat outs, 0 pop outs, 2 line outs, 0 strike points, and then, yeah, 0 draw ceiling, 0 pick off. Game two, we lost 5 goals, which is like 27 outs, so 27 outs were Six strike hours, seven grand hours. Zero going to four hours, zero double plays. Four fly hours, four pop hours, six line hours. Zero strike points, zero cross stealing, zero break offs. Game three, we won 20, four zero, four zero, 24 hours for five strike hours, three going to four hours, zero double plays. Nine fly hours, two pop hours, one line hours. Zero strike points, zero cross steal, one pick off. We took two or three from the Dodgers. Besides the second game, the offense looked really good. But we looked like to knock a strike down. Same thing in game one. But we on the bat. We just got clean up wins in game one and three. Dodgers first in game two stats. And both we lost million. Like I predicted. If we lose because I thought I was trying to that game was going to suck, but it was actually a full point we were up. So since we were 4 and 2, we went, just, we went 4 and 2 with the Cubs and Dodgers. We got 22 and 21, which I had them back in this week. This week we faced the Rockies for 3 at home, and then we faced the Braves for 4 off the time Friday. And then so the recap will be next Monday, not no matter 10 days. For the Rockies series, we're going to sweep them and we're going to put up the Braves. So if everything goes to plan, we should, we're going to 5 and 2. 
to be an old one with a 24, 27, 24. Let's take a look at the you know, what's standing. Dodgers 2017, Parties 22, 21, back. D Box 1922, 7 back. Giants on fourth, 18 back with 1923 record. Rockies 14 games back, 13, 12 and 28 record. Offensive MP goes to no one really, no one leaves third down. All had great, but no one had an amazing week. The pitching MT goes to entire starting pitching staff as they allowed a combined three runs over six games. Field the leaders after four to three games played. Pitching leader has to be 10 minutes, 10 inning minimum. Boom, CC leads a team of five. King with going Dallas are third and second with three. A ceiling third with two. ERA, probably leads a team with 0 0.00. Zero zero. So is in second with 0 0.49. CC with 2.19. KC leads a league with six, 60 strikeouts with lead a team. Uh, King is in second with 54. Bottom third with 35. And so I lead a team of 12 saves. So, Bally is Mim, Daya Bounce, Hawaii's led a team of 344, Pop on second with 319, a joke called 298, Home Ones, Dark Seas lead a team of 8, Cone in second with 7, Pop Wise and third of 6. RBI is calling from Pop Wise to be a team of 27. Can be turned on is in second place with 23. A solid on top piece at type of third with 22. On the batting side, it remains Bogus and Kim as they both have sucked. Uh, Bogus third homework today, but overall, he's, his offense is he did not look good. He's, Batting and dropped like three points. And then Kim also struggled. And like they, they really, the team struggling on this offense with Tottenham might be on the next week. But we'll see how he does this week. So, on the pitching side, is, But hopefully, Kim avoids that IL after leaving today's game with. After getting hit by a best on the wrist. X rays are negative. On a person saying Dilo Santo needs to pick up as he a lot of home runs last of Yannings as he caused the game yesterday in the game on Tuesday. The water moves I like Sabin is staying on Brito for like Brito has been pissing good. But we're looking to see if this guy starts out a star and Jacob could be another um, bridge against the Suarez as 7th and 8th thing guy. I think starting up a walk that looked good today. Has looked good, but it wasn't clean. So it's kind of no, I think. Mm. That's all I have for you this week. See you guys next week. Next money for another week. Bye.